everyone. Welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. And now it is time for tea. That's right. The noise you hear in the background is probably the microwave. There's also going to be beeping going on. One set of beeping is going to be for the end of my steeping time for this tea. Now, today's tea, I've actually pulled from my December teas from Sips Buy. Sips Buy is a subscription box for tea that I pay for out of my own cashy money. Not sponsored, not affiliated, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, this tea is called Raspberry Leaf by OTs. It is caffeine free. It says one sachet, it's a tea bag y'all, per eight ounces of water, 160 degrees, which is unusual because that is way lower than boiling. I had to like temp the water and be like, oh yeah, that's too hot. I had to wait for it to cool off before I could start using it, okay? It says steep three to five minutes. I have my timer set for five and I think it's about to be, that beep was the microwave. Um, and what it says is in there is raspberry leaves, apple pieces, light hibiscus, rose hip peels, uh, there's my beeper, uh, flavored raspberries, blackberry leaves, and sweet blackberry leaves. I don't know the difference between blackberry leaves and sweet blackberry leaves. Who knows? They could have just said blackberry leaves, but whatever. Um, the description on the Sips by little information sheet here. For a fruity and nutritious tea with plenty of perks, this caffeine-free raspberry tea leaf blend is an excellent choice for its soothing properties and is excellent for women's health i don't even know what that means for women's health does that mean nobody else's health is i don't know i don't know anywho that is by ot's and yes the top is ripped off because that's the one that i use but it's an interesting plastic package i don't know why they had to use plastic and yet they said that the the doohickamajig the tea bag in there is biodegradable and all that this sure isn't Come on, y'all. Use a wax paper. It's okay. All right. Um, the tea, again, my timer did go off. I have my handy-dandy clip holding that bag because the string on that tea bag is really short. Let's take that off. This is my No, I Will Not Fix Your Computer um, mug because, as was commented, it was nice to see the actual color of the tea. So... I may have to get some more glass mugs that are see-through because yeah, it is kind of nice to see what color we're dealing with. That is a sort of pinky kind of a color for the tea bag. It is not red like some pure hibiscus stuff that I've seen, but it is uh, definitely got a pink hue to it. Now I am going to use my spoon and blow on it because it's still too hot for me to drink even though it had a lower um, steeping temperature. By the way, while I'm waiting for this to cool a smidge, um, look at the recommendations on the tea bo the box of tea or whatever that you get. It'll have temperature recommendations usually and a steeping time usually. Go by that. Because sometimes if you oversteep a tea, it just gets gross. If you understeep it, it's like, where'd the tea go? Hello. So try to follow the recommendations. And the water temperature sometimes makes a difference too. If you go too hot, in some teas that are not made for that. Um, it just, it turns it like bitter instantly or something. It just depends on the tea blend as to what happens. So I try to go by what it says. I try to follow directions, even though I don't follow patterns much or recipes or anything. Your girl's trying, okay? And herbal tea today, because as many of you know, I record most of my videos on the weekends because, well, on the weekend, mostly on Sunday, <laughs> because I work a lot during the weekend. There's just not a lot of time. Um, this is being recorded actually Sunday night. I usually get up Sunday morning, record my videos and have the rest of the day. So I didn't work out that way. So it's like nine o'clock at night and I'm having some tea and it's all good because it's caffeine free. Of course, I don't think caffeine would keep me awake anyway. Yeah, there's that. All right, let's do the little... I saw somebody eating a cold noodle soup today and instinctively when she picked it up and got the noodles in her chopstick, she was blowing on it to cool it off and then she laughed at herself because it's cold noodles. Yeah, I do that too. The tea tastes like it smells and that's good. It's very pleasant. It does have a raspberry note to it. Um, it's not over the top. It's not an in your face like a blue raspberry Kool-Aid or something nasty like that. It's just a nice gentle, oh, 
there were some raspberries here at one time. Now, I like a punchy, punchy flavor, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see how this is. But it's not bad. I could actually see this ending up iced, I think. I think this would make a nice iced beverage. Maybe with a little uh, bubbly seltzer water in it or something, just to give it a little floofy floof. Floofy floof. Yeah, I'm still delirious from lack of sleep. I'm going to put a little sweetener in there, though. This is uh, Sweet Editions. It is the Aldi version of Splenda or, or of Stevia. So I usually call it not Stevia because that's how I roll. All right. Oh, and where I got the mug, I did get the mug, as I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, at a value village. I finally found a value village down here instead of having to live completely vicariously through Kevin and Kelly on Life of a Millwife, because they go to Value Village all the time. I love me some thrifting, so yes. All right, stir that in. Still looks nice and sort of pinkish. Pinkish, it's not a bright pink, it's pinkish. If you ever had anything with just a lot of hibiscus though, that stuff is pink, okay, yeah. Hmm. The sweetness definitely works for this. Um, and of course, adding one packet, that doesn't make it overly sweet. But it does just take the flavors up a notch. It, it sort of enhances that raspberry flavor a little bit. I'm liking that. Let's see. That'll definitely do. That is nice. Is it the over the top nice like I would drink every cup of it like I you know like all the time like the, the chocolate mint tea that I had? No, it's not that over the top good. But it is super nice for a caffeine free herbal tea. Not like that one last week that was like eh, tastes kind of medicinal. There's no medicinal taste out of this and about supporting women's health. I really don't understand what that means. What about women's health are they supporting that's different than what men's health would be? Is it going to get in there and give my ovaries a punch? I don't know. I just don't know. If you know, answer down below. <laughs> Tell me what you know about how it's supporting women's health as opposed to men's health. So got to make sure it's safe to give my hubby some. You know what I'm saying? All right. I'm going to sit around and drink this tea. And uh, you, I hope, are taking some time for tea every day. Just time to sit down and chill out and enjoy a beverage of whatever your choice. It can be an adult beverage if that's what you do. It can be tea. It can be iced tea. Sit down and have a break because you deserve it. So do I. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. I appreciate you being around. If you haven't subscribed already, you could consider doing so. Some boxes are going to pop up. One's going to be a video that YouTube thinks that that'll be great for you. The other one's a subscription link if you haven't subscribed already. Clickety-doo-doo. -doo. Check the description box down below for more details about lots of stuff. And hopefully I will see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.